Praise the Lord. We give God all the glory. Father, Lord Jesus, thank you for the gift of life. And thank you for having your way today too in our midst. Precious Holy Spirit, we pray that you speak to us today too. So that at the end of it all, we'll see your glory in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you once again to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? We'll take our devotional reading from John chapter 8, the verses 31 to 32. And it reads, The heading says, Jesus and Abraham. Jesus said to the people who believed in him, You are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings. And you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Oh, brethren in the Lord, this is a short message, message, sorry, a short message but powerful. Because if someone is a disciple of Christ, it means a person will always obey the word of God. The person will not think his own way, but will think through the word of God. He continues to say that when the Son sets you free, you are free indeed, or you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Brethren in the Lord, what is the truth? The truth is knowing all about Jesus, because he is the truth. And when we have come to know the truth, our eyes also open and things that once we loved so much but are disgraceful, our eyes are open to see them. We draw ourselves from sad things and we look up unto Jesus to lead us in whatever we do. If someone is a free person, that person has been set free from bondage yes we've been set free from the bondage of sin and we've been set free from the bondage bondage of the flesh and of the world brethren in the lord when jesus comes into our lives he gives us freedom in him he opened our eyes to see he opened our ears to hear and whatever is shameful it's shameful. We see it that this is shameful. But when Christ is not in someone's life, the person does not see that. The person can behave anyhow and be pleased with it. But when we come to Christ and he opens our eyes, we see that these things are not meant for people who are free, people who are heirs of the kingdom. And so we do not mingle with the things of the flesh, but rather we turn from them and look up unto Jesus to lead us in whatever we do. And so, have you been set free? Then be a faithful disciple of Christ. If you want to be faithful, then we need to heed to his word. We need to remain faithful to his teachings. We need to accept whatever he tells us so that we can also tell people about that. So when Jesus comes into our lives, he shows us what is right to do. Anything we say, wherever we go, we'll see, through, we'll see to it that Jesus Christ is being lifted up in every situation. We do not allow, allow ourselves to be manipulated by the world. But we allow the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us in whatever way he wants us to go. That is why the Bible is saying that you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. You will know Jesus and Jesus will set you free. Because the Bible says in John 14 verse 6 that Jesus was saying, I am the way. He's saying, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. So when we talk about the truth setting you free, it means Jesus comes into our lives and he sets us free from the bondage of sin. So, as people who have been delivered, who have been forgiven, we remain faithful to the teachings of Christ. In this case, we can call ourselves disciples of Christ, people who are learning from Christ to teach other people also. 
May the Lord bless us all and help us to remain faithful in him till he comes again in glory. God richly bless you. Please share the word. Give us a thumbs up. And then if you have not subscribed, please do. So that we'll all join in sharing the word of God. God bless you. Have a fruitful day. Bye-bye.